guys, how you doing? It's Young Bali here. Um, I'm just going to do a review on a MIUI for uh, the HD2. Uh, I flashed this about a week ago, and uh, it's running very smoothly. Um, my main thing about this ROM is it's totally different. It's It seems like it's not Android, but all the settings and all, all the apps and everything is the same. Um, I'm just going to run through what you get with this ROM and the differences between a regular um, UI ROM and this one because it's totally different uh, as you see here this is the lock screen it's it's unlike anything it, you can kind of compare it to sense where you have to drag uh, you have to drag it down to unlock it but nothing has uh, has it has it has three things here it's it's different it has the time if you're charging it has the charging it has a little animation here where it shows they are charging um, it's pretty cool uh, also in the lock screen up here you don't have the time because it's down here so they kinda they kinda made it that way so it, it looks a lot better um, so you could either drag up to unlock the screen as I'm uh, connected to my computer right now it has a charge only or mount SD card which is also another uh, kind of handy little thing um, so this way I have my uh, desktop you know laid out um, very smooth everything is is very very fast it's surprising for a completely different UI it's not it's it doesn't lag one bit uh, back to the um, lock screen uh, you have the lock the messaging in the phone so obviously you understand if uh, you drag down the messaging you'll go right into messages which is totally different by the way uh, you have SMS conversations add another conversation um, it has a crazy cool keyboard here I've never seen it's the uh, it's the gingerbread keyboard but it's themed with a kind of a light blue which is very nice um, you got your add contact here um, it's it's different, but it's very very well put together. Um, also the phone, drag that down. See, it goes to your phone. Um, sorry, I can't show you my contacts. Um, so this let, let me get right into it. Um, there's no app launcher. If you've seen other MIUI videos before, there's no app launcher. That's the, it's not a bad thing, but it's different. Most people don't like it that way because they don't want all their apps on their desktop because some they don't want. Like I have this last page and these are the things I never use, so I just put it on my last page because there's no reason for them to be there if I'm not going to use them. But it, it's fine in a way because it just looks really cool anyway. Um so scrolling is nice uh, you can drag you see this little indicator down here you can drag it for a quick scrolling you can tap where you want to go also there's a uh, everything's different see the the menus are different there every menu is different it's it's customized for MIUI it's they change everything uh, you have launcher settings here uh, you can keep the app in memory and you can use high graphics so when you're scrolling you don't get little pixels um, you have also transition effects like if you uh, downloaded uh, ADW Launcher or Launcher Pro they, they have their own effects but this one has their also their own you have 3D cube where when you when you rotate it, it's like a cube but some of these can actually uh, not slow down the phone but it looks kinda choppy so I only use the ones that look really good. Um, you have rotation, which kind of it's kind of like uh, flipping. It's kind of like a uh, I don't know what to describe it as, like a tornado kind of. Um, you you have um, this one called cascading, which is my favorite. When you slide it, the other page kind of moves up, like it, like it's in the background. And you put you can push your pages down. It's really cool. It, it's different. That, that's why I like it. Um, other ones is the uh, page, the page effect. It's like a rotator kind of thing. Uh, you have uh, fall down, which is kind of like a 
Also a very nice one. Very, very good eye candy. Um, you have crossfade, which kind of fades into the next screen, which is very cool. You might not be able to see it, but it's a little fade, fade effect in there. Uh, and then you have the normal ones, which is, uh, oh, sorry, um, just classic, uh, no overshoot, and classic, which means a uh, little, like, bounce to it. Also, um, your settings completely different. Like, very different. Um, kind of got me a little bit, a little bit of time to get used to, but that it's actually very easy to understand after a while. You have your personal, which is all, like, basically your, what you're looking at. You have your system, is what you're, what you're doing, like, your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, everything. Uh, programs, all your apps. You can manage, like, calendar, browser settings, all those settings in here. Gmail, text, call. Uh, the common settings, which is like the ones you usually use. Um, what else? Also, to get get a widget or a folder on here, you you can hold here, and you get into editing mode. You have a uh, widgets up here, a trash can, and a wallpaper chooser. Um, dragging widgets are is really cool. Um, say you want this analog clock, you just drag it. To the, any home screen is drop, and it automatically goes there. You just tap the home screen, and there it is. That's pretty cool. And if you long press it, drag it up to the trash can, it just goes away. Um, also, if you want to uninstall an app, like if I want to uninstall New Egg, which is a uh, online buying site, uh, just drag it to the trash can, boom. Remove application New Egg. No, I like the application. Also, um, in editing mode, um, you can you can choose your lock screen wallpaper, which I think is really really cool. Um, sometimes I, I like just uh, checking the time. I like a different wallpaper on there. So say I wanted these birds. Which, I don't know. It's it's okay. I mean, just demonstration here. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't want to. Oh, force close. Um, but. See, I applied it. It said I already applied it, but so I just go home. Now it's different. I think it's very cool. Um, it's very fast. I, you can overclock it to uh, 1,190, but everything works real fast, guys. It's awesome, really awesome. So uh, just, uh, just give me a thumbs up and comment if you want. Any other ROM you want me to do a review on, uh, I'll probably do one probably every week. Um, yes, MIUI, great ROM. Uh, thank you, guys.